What up, y'all? Hey, y'all. Uh, I'm going to talk about this Aerospace series that I've been watching. Um, it's, it's two episodes out so far. And uh, I just got done watching the second one. So I decided I want to talk about it. So as y'all come into the video, y'all smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you ain't subscribed already. And, uh, don't worry about my voice, man. I'm getting over this cold, this flu. I ain't got the COVID or, or the Mariana, no shit like that. I'm getting over this flu, so the shit almost over with, but y'all bear with me, man. So look, man, <clears throat> I've been watching this uh, Earl Smith series. It's called, I'm showing y'all right now, it's called The Road to Undisputed, episode two. You know, I just got done watching this and, um, I got to say, I'm enjoying it, you know what I'm saying? Not only because I get to see Earl Spence work a little bit, but it looked like Earl, like, super serious, like, with his craft right now because the Ugas fight is, is next, right? We believe the uh, Ugas fight is next. It's already been ordered and announced already. Well, it ain't been announced, but it's been ordered by the WBA and uh, saying that's what Earl Spence wanted and they're saying that's definitely what uh, your Dennis Ugas wanted. So, I'm not sure who YouTube channel this is, but I subscribed anyway. I'm not sure if it's uh, the nutritionist and, uh, and a uh, strength coach that Earl Spence has. You know, that's working with him throughout this video, making him food, and having him do certain workouts. The fight ain't even been announced yet, and this nigga working like he got a fight next month or some shit. Like, you can tell, bro, got like a newfound, like, I don't know what to call it, but it's like a, it seems like it's a fire inside of, bro, that, that's, that's making him. You know what I'm saying? Go super hard with this shit because he know. You know what I'm saying? He don't want no more hiccups, man. And, and he just taking this shit real serious. Man, just like the title of the video say, The Road of Undisputed. He letting you know without even saying the shit that the nigga is going to be fighting. Ooh, I said, then Budness. So, you know what I'm saying? You got to kind of like look at this. Look at some of this shit. Take what you can get out of it. You know what I'm saying? Everything ain't got to be said. What's understood ain't got to be said all the fucking time. You know what I'm saying? But for the dummies in the back and shit, obviously the nigga going for undisputed, man. He ain't trying to get all the belts in the division, which is, I believe, the only reason he's still at 147 in the first, in the, in the first place. You know? Uh, I've been watching. I watched episode one, you know, uh, the nutritionist. So I'm guessing, listen, I'm guessing Earl Spence going to be having two nutrition, I mean, two strength and conditioning coaches. You know what I'm saying? They're probably working on two different things for him, which is probably why he bought in this new guy because I'm pretty sure he probably going to use uh, a Blu-ray too when, you know, he finally get the uh, fight announced and all the way in camp because this is like pre-camp type shit. Um, so I'm not sure the formula that they using because I don't have any sources uh, at Earl Spence Camp. I ain't got no sources. I ain't got no, none of that shit. Y'all yeah, know I gotta put that disclaimer out because you know that's what that's just what I do. And um, it seems like the boy working is super hard, man. It seems to me that Uga's in trouble. I think. I look at Earl Spence in his second phase of his career. I believe the first phase is over. The first phase is over. It's just me personally speaking, you know, my opinion. I believe the first phase is over. I believe now, right, as talented as Earl Spence is, I believe that his preparation is what's going to get him a lot of these fucking wins. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these guys because... Earl Spence is the top dog right now. And a lot of niggas going to be trying to work the hardest they ever work to try to take Bruh off, off his throne. 
You know what I'm saying? Because everybody want that. Like when you at the top, everybody want that spot. So everybody want to be in the position he in. So history showed us when these fighters get in that top spot, everybody else working hard, harder than you sometimes. And 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 y'all know the saying, hard work beats talent. Like you can be talented, talented as fuck. But if you if you ain't working super hard, one of these guys come through who working extra hard, come through and beat your ass. But with Earl Spence, I think the case is different because not only is he super talented, I believe that he's finally using all the resources that are available to him. You know, um, I've seen him doing some other shit. That I don't even know what the fuck it was, but it just looked like preparation to me. It looked like a bunch of, like, pads was over his body, and he was doing some kind of like exercise thing. I'm not sure what that was, but it wasn't in, in, in this first episode. I mean, this episode or the first episode, but I seen it probably, like, a couple of weeks ago. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, damn, what the hell is that? I don't know what it was. Excuse me. I don't know what it was, but... I just look at it all like preparation, man, because I heard about LeBron James. You know, it was years ago I heard this, but I heard about LeBron James spending, spending like a million dollars a fucking year on his body, bro, to make sure he prepared to go through all them fucking brutal training camps and shit with that basketball shit so he can, you know, because he got up in age, so... He wanted to make sure he still all the way 100% prepared, you know, because a lot of younger basketball players, you ain't going to see them niggas spending no million dollars a year because they blowing that shit right now. So they ain't really, you know, a lot of them ain't really probably ain't even getting that much to be even doing that type of shit, you know what I'm saying? So, he, you know, in the position you in, I, uh, when it comes to Earl Spence, I believe that he's at that level where, he can do that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? The nigga on pay per view after pay per view, back to back. We know, we know, he probably, if not the highest paid boxer in boxing right now, he gotta be like top three, top two. So, you know what I'm saying? The bread ain't the problem. So, it's basically on him just putting in the work. You know what I'm saying? Putting, doing the shit, setting up the type of shit he he need done to to get to where he want to go shit that's just how i look at it you know what i'm saying because i'm watching these fucking uh road to, uh undisputed episodes i would play it but these guys new on the scene and i don't really know if they you know what i'm saying want me doing that type of shit so i ain't gonna do it but if y'all ain't checked it out make sure y'all go check it out man it's two episodes so far i'll be waiting on the third one probably be out to later on or, or tomorrow or some shit like that but you know what I'm saying uh, I've been enjoying watching them or whatever um, it looked like him and Derrick James Earl Spence and Derrick James in the gym uh, every day and them niggas working like they got a fight already Earl Spence already in major shape Ugas better be on his shit man because I ain't going to say I hate to see, but I, because I actually love to see. But the nigga might get in the ring and just get brutally b battered than that motherfucker. Like, don't act like that shit ain't possible when it comes to Earl Spence. The nigga might come in that motherfucker and get brutally battered. Get back the fuck down. You know? <laughs> and you already know Crawford, gonna, he definitely going to get battered the fuck down. So, I hope. Ooh, guys working on, like, some fucking resilience and some, uh, shit like that. Taking punishment. Because it seemed like this, 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 <laughs> this, this former Earl Spence going, you know what I'm saying? He on some different type of time, man. You know what I'm saying? This nigga got a strength and conditioning coach right now that he working with pre-camp. I'm not sure if he's going to use him and Blu-ray at the same time, but he fuck around and have Blu-ray, too. 
because I'm sure he ain't really play some. It seemed like he just doing something totally different or whatever. Um, I know it's people probably speculate like, oh man, what's up with Blu-ray, man? This is strength conditioning coach because I read the comments and I seen somebody ask ask the guy who uh, channel this is, are you replacing Blu-ray? What happened to Blu-ray or some shit like that? And he answered back and he said, no, nah, man. He said, I don't know who that is. I just can't. You know, we was brought in to do full strength and conditioning and, and nutrition. So, Earl Smith might be using two strength and conditioning coaches. You know what I'm saying? So, we'll see, man. Uh, other than that, man, y'all hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Y'all ain't subscribed already. Y'all go check this out, man. When y'all go check this video out, smash the like button. You know what I'm saying? Because this is great content. You see bro coming to Earl Smith's uh, ranch. And um, and then got a fucking uh, well I forgot what that damn dog called. That motherfucker look like it's worth about five bands. Dog running up to their ass, greeting them as they coming in. They come cook Earl Spence probably his breakfast and all this type of shit. Working on his nutritionist and um everything. He said he was gonna lock down on that shit too, but I remember him tweeting and saying something like that, but. Other than that, man, I'm out, y'all. Deuces.